guys. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite skincare products of the year 2013. I am not wearing any makeup on my face today. I am wearing mascara, but I'm not wearing any makeup on my face today because I figured this is a skincare dedicated video so you can love me for me in my own natural skin. I only cleanse and moisturize today and that's all that you're getting. On a day-to-day -day basis, I do not do a full face of makeup at all. I actually think I wear makeup less than I do wear makeup. I'm like not this diva who has to have a full face of makeup to go get a loaf of bread, like not whatsoever. And I definitely want to encourage you to be confident in your own skin and not feel like you have to hide behind a mask because makeup is just supposed to be fun and playtime and enhance how you already feel about yourself inside because that is definitely more important than anything else I ever speak about here on my channel or any product that you could possibly buy is how you feel within. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's talk about skincare. I'm going to start off with face cleansers and there were only two that really stuck out to me this year and you guys know which one I'm going to mention first. It is the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. What they mean by one step is that it is going to clean your skin, remove your makeup and tone your face with just one formula. This is a very universal face wash. It's pretty much great for all different skin tones. It has some natural oils in it so it's going to go back in and help moisturize as well. It is just a great universal cleanser. If you have a hard time finding a cleanser that really works for you, this is definitely something I would recommend and it's not super pricey and it's also on QVC like all the time. You can get like jumbo bottles for like 25-30 bucks. So yes, Purity wants that facial cleanser. This next cleanser I discovered this year, my sister has been using this brand and this cleanser for years and years and years, and so she got me addicted at the beginning of this year, and it is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. It says here that it is for all skin types, rich in amino acids, and it gently cleanses the face and eyes. So the amino acids are going to help firm and tight the skin, tighten the skin, so that's really great for mature women. It's also going to be super sensitive because it's all for all skin types, and it is really soothing, and it's also nourishing, and it has a little bit of oil in it, so that does it strip your skin of all oils because that really is not a fun feeling and even super oily people should not be stripping all their oils out of their face. So yeah, super gentle, great for sensitive skin. Just make sure that you do not have an allergy to soy products because that's a very common thing in the skincare world. There will be soy in a product and someone will have an allergic reaction because they're allergic to soy. So if you've tried anything with soy before and you haven't broken out or anything, then you're good. Why am I doing this with my hands right now? Anyways, as long as you don't have an allergic reaction to soy, this is a great gentle cleanser for all skin types. Did I even show you the product? I'm so rude. I'm gonna talk about toners now as we're like moving through our skincare routine. I will start with the first toner that I used this year and that is the Mario Badescu Cucumber Cleansing Lotion. I know some of you get confused when you hear the word lotion and yet it's a toner, but in the skincare world, if the word lotion is in the title and it's a total liquid, then liquid, then it is a toner. This one specifically is made for combination oily skin. I am dry, so I didn't use this every single day. It says that you can use this twice a day. I use it every night or every other night, depending on how my skin was feeling at that moment in time. Um, I did go through two or three bottles. I think this is my third bottle that I went through this year. I used it quite a lot. So it does remove oil residue. It helps prevent breakouts. It um, takes out bacteria, it disinfects. So it's really, really great for people with problematic skin. It would really help take out all the dirt and like gunk from my pores. I didn't struggle with like bad acne this year, but I did struggle with texture and just clogged pores and this really, really helped with that. It's also a very budget friendly product, so I highly recommend this toner to anyone who's looking for one. This is the Lush Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water. There are a few different toners there and it literally just sprays out and you just spray it on your face like this. It's really, really nice and it's a mineral rich sea breeze captured in a bottle and it has aloe vera in it, soothing rose and clarifying herbs. So this is one that is for dry sensitive skin since I am dry and I am sensitive. There are a bunch of different ones there for whatever your skin needs are, but I really like this. It's simple. It's not something that like really made this huge impact in my skincare routine, but it's something that I really enjoyed. It felt nice, it was soothing and it made my skin super soft. So lush breath of fresh air. This is not an actual toner, this is just a facial spray, and it is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. This is created for all skin types. I started using this in 2012 and fell in love with it. I think this is my third bottle at this point, maybe fourth. Um, I primarily used it when I wasn't wearing any makeup because it really hydrates and conditions, gives your skin a really natural glow to it. It says you can use it as a makeup setting spray, 
but it will not prolong the life of your makeup whatsoever. And if you spray too much of it, it can do the opposite effect and kind of melt your makeup away and break it up. So I would be careful with that, but it is a really nice product. It smells luxurious. It smells like a bed of roses. So yeah, I really like this. Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I only have one exfoliator to mention because as I talked about before, I do like using organic sugar to exfoliate my face and then I will sometimes mix it with like olive oil or lemon juice. But this is one that I have been in love with all year long and it is the Lush Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. This says it is a coarse and fine sea salt scrub with organic lime juice to brighten and avocado butter to soften. So this is something that you could totally make yourself in the kitchen and it'd be the exact same thing. Um, it looks like this inside. I love the color of it. It's so pretty. This is a new one. I just got it last week when I went to Lush. And this is such a great exfoliator for all skin types because sea salt is great for acne. It's absolutely amazing. But at the same time, it's not going to dry you out. So it's also good for people who have dry skin. Not to mention the avocado butter is going to be super hydrating so really anybody can use this dry sensitive acne prone it's a great great exfoliator it's the only one that i actually have ever used that i feel like is worth it other than just making something yourself at home but you can make this yourself at home but okay i'm done this product is a total rando but everybody needs this in their medicine cabinet every man every woman anybody with a face needs this product this is the mario badescu drying lotion this is made for all skin types and like i said everybody basically what it is is it's a zip zapper it looks like this in the bottle you can see you take a q-tip you stick your q-tip all the way into the bottom of that pink powder and it's gonna come out kind of like wet and almost like clay you put that on a q-tip and then you place it wherever like you have a zit a pimple a breakout a blemish whatever is happening you can do it as soon as you want or as late as you want and then you go to bed and you sleep with that on your skin and it literally will zap your blemish away and it's just like poof it's amazing. I used it two nights ago and it's just like, oh God, it's just perfect. It's such a great product. If you have a face, if you ever get blemishes, you need this product. Josie Mara 100% Pure Argon Oil are the first beauty oils I want to talk about. This is the original and it's the Josie Mara 100% Pure Argon Oil and that's it. This is like what started the entire beauty oil fiend that is happening to the market now. This is an organic moisturizing oil. It's so great for sensitive skin, so great for dry skin, so great for oily skin, combination skin. It is an amazing oil. You can use this all over your body. You can use it in your hair. It's natural. You can do whatever you want with this oil. It is an absolutely awesome oil. It is a thick, true oil though don't get me wrong like when you put this on your face you're a greased chicken so this is definitely something that you're only going to want to use in the evening time when you're going to bed and no makeup can be put on over top of this because it is just going to slide and melt right off that face the next one is the Josie Mara 100% Pure Argon Oil Light. So this is the ultra lightweight formula. You can totally tell the difference between these two. This one can be worn during the daytime as long as you apply a very thin layer of it and then you can apply your makeup over top. This one feels more like a dry oil. It absorbs into the skin within like 10 minutes. It doesn't leave you feeling super greasy or like over the top at all. This is great. If you are a very oily person and you're afraid of using beauty oils, I would recommend this one for you. That's the light formula and wear that to bed at nighttime. But for those of you who are oily, I know so many of my customers and clients in the past have been like, oh, I'm oily. I don't want moisturizer. I don't want oil. But oil combats oil. So if you apply oil to your face at nighttime, it is going to reduce your body overproducing so much oil. So I recommend beauty oils to everybody. They're amazing. This, this was limited edition, I believe, but I still see it my Sephora. It's the Josie Mara 100% Pure Argon Oil with Radiance. So this one, it's like super goopy and you can see it has some color in it where the other ones don't. It has a little bit of luminosity in it and this one is not as heavy as the original Argon Oil. So this is really nice to put underneath of your foundation when you're feeling at all dry or like you want an extra glow. But once again, you have to do a very light, small amount of it, not a thick coat whatsoever. Otherwise, it's, your makeup is only going to stay looking nice for like an hour or so. But all three of these Josie Maron beauty oils are just amazing. I love them. They're great for sensitive skin. They're great for all skin. So if you're looking for a beauty oil to invest in and you're overwhelmed by so many of them on the market, I would start off with just the original Josie Maron Argan Oil. It's great.
This is the Bosha Beauty Oil. I do not know how to pronounce everything else happening on this bottle, so excuse me for that. But this is an anti-aging formula, so this is going to help with, again, more mature skin. And it also, what does it say on here? It says it hydrates, replenishes, leaving skin smoother, softer, and more supple, of course. And it has high-level antioxidants, which is always really nice. So this is definitely a beauty oil that someone who is more mature would really enjoy. It is much thinner than the Josie Maron argan oils and this says that it can be used during the day underneath of makeup which i have never tried i've only used this one at nighttime and i did like it but it wasn't as thick as the formulas that i'm used to so i haven't used it in like a month this oil has taken over my life and it is the fresh sea berry oil and this has omegas three six seven and nine and it's 100 pure moisture with sea buckthorn oil this is amazing it's lightweight but thick at the same time it's soothing it smells good it's so moisturizing but when i wake up in the morning i'm not still greasy it's like it's super intense but after like 20 to 30 minutes my skin starts accepting it it's not as thick as the josie Maron, i don't believe but i have just been loving this oil i actually have mixed this and the josie Maron a lot recently and i really like those two combined but i'm like neck to neck tie with both of these right now i really don't know which one i like better i might okay no i don't know but i love them both we are done with beauty oils and we are now moving on to daily facial moisturizers. So this right here is the Shiseido Ibuki Refining Moisturizer. I do not know too much about this moisturizer. All I know is that I went into Sephora about a month or so ago and told the esthetician who works in the back that I was looking for a daily moisturizer made for dry skin but not too thick and nothing that would clog my pores. And she recommended this line to me. She told me that it was fairly new but they've heard great things about it. So I really like it. I love the way it smells. It really smells like a spa. I enjoy putting it on my face every day. It is on the thin side, so I definitely could see someone who is combination to oily using this and not being overly hydrated. It lays beautifully under makeup, like beautifully. This is one of my favorite moisturizers to put under my makeup as of this moment. And I do switch my moisturizers out pretty much every single day so my skin doesn't get acclimated to anything, but I have been loving the Shiseido Ibuki. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced, Ibuki, whatever. This I've been using pretty much all year. I've had it since the week it came out, and this is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. This is very hydrating. It is on the thicker side. As soon as I get to the bottom of my moisturizers, I'm like, ooh, I get to go get a new one. It smells like straight oranges. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It says that you can apply this AM or PM and that it's energizing and hydrating. I wouldn't recommend this to someone who's super oily. I would say that someone who's more normal, a combination could use it because it is pretty thick. It's not like intensely thick, but it's a pretty thick daily moisturizer, but I love it and it gives a beautiful glow to the skin. This is the Ole Hendrickson Truth Cream Advanced Hydration provides multi-level moisturization with our advanced hydration complex and it's for all skin types and it's anti-aging. Oh my God. It looks like this. This one again is very citrusy. It says you can apply it to your face and neck AM or PM. This one, I'm not insane about the smell. Not crazy about it, not as much as the Origins, but it's nice. Again, very lightweight, doesn't clog my pores, looks beautiful on the skin, doesn't get greasy throughout the day. It's a really, really beautiful moisturizer. These were my first skincare Lancome purchases that I've ever made, and it was the new line that came out this year, and it's the Energy Devi, I think it's called. I'm not quite sure. It's in this green packaging. When I first bought it, they said it was exclusive to Sephora. I don't know if that's still the truth. It says that you can apply this AM or PM. So this right here is the toner, and it looks like I haven't used any like it's only down there and i swear i've used this thing like 50 to 70 times i really like it they are very moisturizing it smelled great again oh god it smells so good it didn't clog my pores it was awesome for sensitive skin i would again say that you could use this as long as you're not crazy oily because it is on the thicker side um this right here needs to be applied with your fingertips they made that like very clear to me that when you apply it you need to be tapping into the skin and not using like a cotton pad or cotton ball to apply it so you do both of these after you cleanse your skin. I love it though. I have no complaints about either of these. They were great to me and my sensitive skin. Two eye products that I use this year. This goes hand in hand with the Origins Ginseng. This is the refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff. I absolutely love this eye cream. And again, it looks like I haven't used that much, but it came overflowing. And I use this, I think, every single morning for about six months. And I'll show you how it has like this little glow. It has a little bit of color in it. So when you're not wearing makeup, 
it gives you this really natural luminous finish under the eyes so natural no glitter but it's almost like there's an iridescent shimmer in it and it's just it's perfectly done it's beautiful it's moisturizing i wear my makeup over it every single day and it never interfered whatsoever sometimes some eye creams can be too much on the eyes and you try to like put on eyeshadow and it's just a hot mess but this one beautiful it dries perfectly this one again goes hand in hand with the Shiseido one. This is another thing from their collection, Ibuki. This is the eye correcting cream. Smells great, goes on nice and smooth, and it does not irritate your eyes, which is a big deal to me when it comes to eye cream because you're not supposed to apply eye cream super, super close to your eye, just on the bone around. But sometimes I'll get a little heavy handed and get too close and it'll start just like the fragrance or just the moisturizer itself will start stinging my eyes and that drives me off the wall. So both of these do not sting my eye and if they have, it has not been long enough or irritating enough for me to really even notice like some other eye creams. I'm like, oh my God, my eyes! And that's not cute. Okay, I'm going to talk about two night creams that I absolutely love this year. The first one is the Caviar Night Cream. I've spoken about this before in the beginning of the year or maybe the end of 2012. This is for dry and sensitive skin and you are going to want to be dry in order to use this. I don't know if you can even see inside of this tub, but it's like thick. It is thick, thick, thick stuff. Um, I used to use it every single night when I'd wake up in the morning. My skin was so hydrated, it was insane. And then my Josie Maron Argan Oil kind of took over this. Even though it doesn't need to be replaced, they could be used together. I just kind of ended up switching it out throughout the time went on. Um, really great though. If you're dry and you wake up in the morning super dry, this is amazing and it's very inexpensive. This is the more recent addition to my collection and this is by Kors and this is the Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial. This I purchased uh, about three to four months ago at Sephora and I am obsessed. You can see how much I have gone through. Absolutely in love with this product. So this is referred to as a sleeping facial. So you just apply it all over the face like you would a mask and then you go to bed and then in the morning you wake up, wash your face like normal and it just leaves your skin so hydrated, soft, luxurious. It's nice and thick but it doesn't feel like it's clogging your pores. It doesn't feel like it's overwhelming. It doesn't feel like you're putting butter on your face where you're just like, oh, this is uncomfortable. It's so creamy and luxurious. It feels beautiful. I absolutely love this. And you can mix it with something else. You just put this on first. So I do use my oils with it. So I'll apply this first. And then five minutes later, I'll go in and put a beauty oil over top. Absolutely perfect in the morning. My skin has never, ever felt better. So absolutely love this. Coarse, advanced, nourishing, sleeping, facial. Okay, we're gonna talk about masks, and I've got a good amount of them. This is the Luscious Mask of Mag and Minty. This is really great for dark spots. It also helps to exfoliate. It's got peppermint oil in it, so it literally smells like straight peppermint. You can put it in your refrigerator, refrigerator, and then apply it to your face while it's cold, and it'll be like even more intense. I don't think I can deal with that. Even though I love peppermint, it's already so intense and like stimulating. But this is really, really great. It really brings everything out and makes it feel like it's just like pulling and detoxifying. So I love this mask. And it's literally all because of my sister that this is so popular. She's the one who mentioned this on her blog in the first place. And then me and Nicole went shopping and I was like, let's go get this mask that my sister was talking about. And now it's been like sold out everywhere. I will put my sister's blog down below in the description bar for any of you who want to check her out. She's an esthetician and amazing at life. The Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. This little tiny baby that contains so many powers. So this is a clearing treatment. If you guys don't know about mud masks, they are great. It really detoxifies and pulls so much out from your pores and it like, looks like mud, which is so much fun. As you can see, I have been scraping the bottom for mine. I've owned it now for probably, I would say six to eight months and I apply a very thin layer of it. I absolutely love it. It truly does feel life changing. The first time I used this, I was shocked. I've never had a mask do so much so drastically in my life. This is the Mario Badescu Enzyme Revitalizing Mask. It is for combination dry and sensitive skin. All this is really going to do is hydrate and condition and soften. It makes your skin feel so luxurious. It smells good. It's non-hardening, so it doesn't get like really intense and hard on your skin where you feel like you can't move or do anything. Um, you leave this on for 20 minutes. When you take it off, your skin just feels baby soft super, super hydrating. So I really, really enjoy this mask. I used it constantly. I think this is my second or third one in the past like year and a half. So enzyme revitalizing mask. 
This is the Mario Badescu Flower and Tonic Mask. This is made for combination oily and sensitive skin. So even though I'm dry, I absolutely love this mask. This says that it is going to help tighten pores and absorb surface oil without over drying while healing botanicals, calm redness and soothe skin. So since I am sensitive, this really helped with the redness aspect and it really did tighten pores and remove surface oils. So it kind of gives you like a fresh start. Even dry girls sometimes just need to suck everything out and start fresh. So I really like this. I've gone through two of them in the past year and a half I believe so flower and tonic mask this is the fresh rose face mask this says right here that it is infused with real rose petals hydrates and tones it says that it is going to moisturize hydrate it's a unique cooling gel formula that's infused with pure rose water it has green tea it's going to help protect brighten so basically everything you want in a mask it is a little strange looking but it really does work it feels very cooling on your skin it, it just, it's awesome. Whenever I wash my face, if you get a sample of this or you purchase it yourself, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's no feeling like when you wash this off. This mask makes your skin feel incredibly smooth for the next few hours. It's crazy. So I will use this one sometimes in the morning because it's not like harsh to your skin at all. It's just nice and refreshing. And then go in with my moisturizer and do my makeup and my skin just feels like it's like singing a song all day long. It's beautiful. This is the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. This says that it's advanced antioxidants immediately reveals softer and firmer skin. So another product that would be great for mature skin and anyone who is concerned with fine lines or aging or anything like that. It says that Fresh Black Tea Instantly Perfecting Mask is hydrating treatment that immediately reveals softer, firmer, healthier looking skin. It is enriched with black tea. It helps defend against wrinkle causing free radicals and boosts collagen. It's got lychee seed extract. It's great. The way this feels on the skin, again, is so unique. I don't know how to explain it. It's just something that you're gonna have to try for yourself, but I love this and my mom has used it and she loves it as well. So it makes your skin feel a little tight and a little bit firmer. I really, really like this. So this is the Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. These are the makeup wipes that I use all year long and they are the Pond's Evening Soothe Wet Cleansing Towelettes. This is with chamomile and white tea. I really like these. They are from the drugstore, obviously, so they are very wallet friendly. I just really, really like them. I have super sensitive skin, as I've mentioned, I don't know, 700 times during this video. They don't irritate my eyes. They don't break me out. They don't clog my pores. They have a really nice scent and they just take the makeup right off. Just the same as any high-end wet towelette would. I just really, really enjoy this. Um, I've used a couple other wet towelettes from the drugstore and none of them I really like as much as this one. So I just love it. It's a great makeup remover. I have to mention my beloved Clara Sonic. This thing changed my life this year. Well, technically I did get it in December, I think of last year or maybe November of 2012. So yes, I used this all through 2013. And let me just say that this is one of the best things ever invented for the skin. It is such a difference. My friends and family have all told me that they noticed such a difference in my skin, in the tone, in the spots, the dark spots, the sun spots, everything. All like women in my family notice the difference in wrinkles and fine lines. And it is just, it's amazing. It helps so much with texture and breakout. It's such an amazing tool. So all it does is just help cleanse your skin. It runs for a minute and you just rub in your cleanser and it is just, it is life changing. When I go one week without using this, I will see such a cry for help in my skin. And I know that I have to get back to using my Clarisonic. So I love this thing so, so much. It truly is just a game changer in the skincare world. All right, guys, that is it for my favorite skincare products of 2013. I really hope you enjoy this video. As you can tell, I do not mind spending money on skincare products at all. It is the most important step in my beauty routine, hands down. At the end of the day, you wash off your makeup and this is what you're left with. So I do not mind investing in products that are going to help prevent from any damage and keep my skin looking as good as possible because your makeup is only gonna look as good as what you have underneath. So. I'm a skincare junkie and I'm constantly trying to find the best products. If you guys have any recommendations for me that you think that I would absolutely love after getting to know my skin and the things I like, please feel free to recommend anything you want to me. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoy this video. And for those of you who are going to IMAX this weekend, I cannot wait to meet you. And those of you who aren't, I will see you on YouTube next week. I love you all so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. She looks like one of those rat guys on girlfriends. Yep, or oh. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing and your face you get.
EB, I want to get with you and take your picture. Prevent my skin from getting, <laughs> I was going to say old. <laughs> Can't stop that. But you got, oh! <sighs> Do I look ugly? A little bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. I got to get my Clarisonic, bitch. <laughs>